YouTube, Lady Liberty Stacker back with another video um, after the unboxing video for you this evening. This is also a shout out to Coin Keepers March Madness contest. Maybe I stuck in the madness there because I like to think of March as madness with the basketball tournament and all that good stuff. Anyway, um, I want to talk to you first about the Coin Keepers contest and uh, just kind of reiterate the rules as I understand them. And Coin Keeper, if you're listening, you can correct me if you wish. Um, but anyway, uh, just to be eligible for the contest, you have to subscribe to her channel. And you also ha have to have three subscribers in common with her. So when she looks at your channel, she needs to three see three people that subscribe to her that she's friends with that also subscribe to you. So she's going to look for somebody like Still Keeping One. She may look for me. She could look for... Um, um, Silver Slacker, uh, Silverino, whoever, you know, any of these people. At any rate, um, you also need to watch each of the videos she uploads during the month of March. Not February, not January, but the month of March. You need to like, comment, and share the video. And one thing I would want to suggest to you, if you really want to win, go back and review each video that she does and make sure that your comment is still there. Um, I did do that at the end of February just to make sure, because sometimes you think you post on something and you don't. Um, I wasn't aware of the issue of comments disappearing. I you know, didn't know about that, but I think it's a good idea. If you really want to win, go back and look at our videos. Make sure your comment is there. If it's not, post, make another post. And send her a PM if you really need a confirmation. I think that would be the easiest way all around. Um, and without creating too much work for her. Because she does a lot of work in these contests. Anyway, the March contest grand prize for the drawing. She does a random drawing at the end of the month. And in order to be eligible for the drawing, you must have commented on that particular video that she draws uh, with the random draw. But uh, the grand prize is a 10th ounce gold maple. And she has shout-out prizes, and they are a gram of gold. Um, I can't remember if it's a Pamp Suisse. I'd have to go back and look. You need to check her channel out. When I get a, get a chance, I'll post that uh, video link to her uh, contest rules. But without further ado, um, anyway, g give her channel a chance. Uh, she has a lot of interesting stuff. Um, she has a video this month on EDC, Everyday um, uh, Carry. I thought it was extremely interesting, some of the things she carries in her handbag that she doesn't leave the house without, and uh, I got a couple of ideas from watching that one, so that was a great one. Anyway, um, this is an, uh, after the unboxing. I picked up a couple of uh, small coins off of eBay. This was a um, best offer, um, buy it now best offer. You can see the flip here. This is a 1950 uh, 5 peso Southeastern Railroad. Uh, one time only mintage that year in 1950. They minted 200,000 of them, but 100,000 were melted down to make the 1968 Mexican 25 peso coin for the Olympics, the Olympic commemorative that year. So there's only 100,000 of these coins left over. This was a Gem BU, and it was a buy it now. So I made an offer in the 60s, and believe it or not, it was accepted. And with eBay bucks, it ended up running me around 62 bucks, something like that. Now, I know that Half Dollar One had said these coins go for a little less, but I think the prices have gone up. A lot of them are listing for much, much higher, and the slabbed versions are even higher than that um, if they're slabbed by a reputable company. But anyway, I picked this up, um, and this is a, a pretty nice coin, and I'll pause it, and I'll take it out of the... Um, pause the video and I'm all done with this. Take it out of the flip. This next one is a uh, 1947... Balboa. It's also a gem BU, and uh, it has. It's just. It's a beautiful coin. There's nothing wrong with it. Uncirculated. And I, I got this one on an auction, and I got it for twenty-seven bucks. These things are going for fifty, forty, fifty, fifty-five dollars on eBay, and sometimes on these auctions you get the gr the greatest deals. And so I got this one, and it came today as well. So this is a 1947 Balboa, and the mintage on this coin is 500,000. You know, so for bullion, that's pretty good. Anyway, I, I like this old silver. And finally, the last uh, 
coin that I got was a Perth Mint coin and there it is and this one I'll show you in just a minute I was looking for I like the two ounce coins I was online one day on eBay and I'm looking through the listings I was actually looking for a monkey I like the monkeys and I happened to see this coin and I recognized the seller's name on this and my golly that's Micmac 88 so you know we talk offline sometimes we talk on the phone so I called him up and I said hey I see your your coin here is uh, for um, for auction and this is the coin it's the Lunar 1 series Year of the Mouse or the Rat in perfect shape and he was auctioning this off and the starting bid was 150 and it he just listed it I told him I was going to be auctioning uh, for the coin and he said you know I'll just sell it to you and I said, how much you want for it? And he gave me a very, very, very good price. Very good price. Uh, let's just say this. This coin is worth about 200 or more. It has the third lowest mintage of the Lunar One Bullion coins, 7,221 coins. Um, and this one um, actually is in really good shape here. Um, $2.00. Um, two ounce coin and uh, he he needed to sell it and I like it so I figured I'll buy it from him he's a buddy of mine I, I like to help people out and you know and I enjoy the process and I'm holding his lovely coin it's never going to be sold as far as I'm concerned at least for a long 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 time anyway here's uh, the year of the mouse and then finally he threw in a little uh, uh, gift I'll get it out of the baggie in a minute but it is a 120th of an ounce Libertad. And this one, I believe it's the older style. It looks like Silver Siren's older logo on her, uh, her, her channel. I'm not sure what year it is. I have to get it out of the bag. So I'm going to pause this video for just a minute get these coins out. Anyway, I'm back again. This is a... Try to get it on the reeded edges. Boy, this is a tough one to even pick up. It's so tiny. It's a 1992 Libertad. One twentieth of an ounce. Uh, I won't focus. Come on, camera. And I almost had to get a magnifying glass out to see it. And of course, the year of the rat, Lunar One. Beautiful. And here is my uh, 1947 Balboa. I'm going to put that one in an airtight, I think. Keep it nice and perfect. There it is. And then my railroad uh, Mexican 1950 5 peso coin. There, that's beautiful. Flip it over. On the back, her obverse is the coat of arms. From Mexico and this is I believe it is a half ounce I'm not sure but this is getting too long and I do appreciate you guys watching please like subscribe comment and have a great evening